Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Oback, and today I wanted to show you uh, how you can take assignments from your teacher in Google Classroom and fill those out and turn them in using your iPad or tablet device. So today I'm on my iPad and I'm just in this folder where my Google apps are. I wanted to show this to you because usually it's going to work best for you if you have a few different Google apps. So some of the most important ones for you to have would be Google Classroom, Google Drive, where your files are stored, and depending on what kind of files your teacher is sending you, Google Docs is great for editing files your teacher sends you. And you might also want slides or sheets if your teacher is sending you those types of files. So I'm going to begin in Classroom. I'll start here on my home screen. So I'm going to go into my class. This isn't a real student's account, it's just a demonstration account, so we're not seeing any student's real work or real information. Here you can see that my teacher has sent me a few different assignments. This is called the, the stream in Google Classroom. So the first assignment I see says Science Assignment 5, Sources of Energy. If I click on this assignment, it gives me some directions. So I see follow the directions in the attachment to do some research on sources of energy. Please use the attached template to show me what you have learned about sources of energy. Send your work to me using the turn in button. So sometimes your teacher is going to send you a file like this that they would like you to fill out. You're going to use this little gray up arrow at the bottom where it says your work. And you'll notice there's already a file here to work on from your teacher. So you need to open it. There's a couple ways of editing this. You'll notice if you tap the pencil here, it will load your file and let you type over it. So I can write or type in a text box using this feature. It's important to know that if I want to change my text box after, I need to use this toolbar along the bottom. The left one that is a square lets me click on that typing and go in to change it. If I'm still on the A, the text box, it's going to keep making new text box for me. I would not recommend using that edit pencil when you open an assignment as your first choice for writing on an assignment, unless you want to be able to do the annotation and inking like I did when I wrote that letter L. The reason that's not the best choice is because it turns it into a PDF file, which is a little bit harder for you and your teacher to keep editing. So I'm going to close out of this file and I'll show you the best way I think there is to edit the file if you have um, both the Google Classroom app and the Google Docs app. You can press this icon at the top right hand corner, kind of looks like a box, a little box with an arrow, and that's going to open the file in Google Docs so that I can type right into it. So now I have my assignment template from my teacher. In order to change it at the bottom right hand corner, there's a blue pencil. So once I've done that, I can start to edit. So you'll notice I've done a little bit of work on this assignment already. I've filled in the first box on what are fossil fuels. So now I need to answer the question, how are our fossil fuels formed? So I'm gonna click here and start to type my answer. Once I've finished my work for my teacher and all of the, the parts of my assignment are filled in, there's a blue check mark at the top left. You'll notice because my teacher sent me this template, it automatically named my file for me with the student's name, Bob Parker, and the assignment name, Assignment 5 Sources of Energy. This is what the assignment will be called if you look for it in Google Drive. I'm going to press the blue check mark beside the name to save it. I can hit the back arrow to go back to my main screen and docs and you'll see the assignments there. 
I can also either switch apps or hit the back arrow to get back to classroom. So now you will see the same assignment. My work is attached. If I open it again, because I edited it with Google Docs, you'll notice that everything is here, here still here for me. I missed a question, so I'm going to open it again, top right hand corner, that box with a little square in it. And I can keep typing. So how do we use fossil fuels? So I have to hit my blue pencil at the bottom and I can start to type. When I'm finished everything, I can press that blue check mark again. When I know that all the parts of my assignment are done, I can go back to the classroom app and the best way to hand it in to your teacher so that he or she can easily find it and that you can find it in Google Classroom is to hit this turn in button. It won't always be blue, it'll depend on the color scheme of your Google Classroom setup, but you will be able to find this turn in button under the your work section. You'll notice when it says unsubmit that it's been sent to your teacher. You would just use that unsubmit button if you wanted to take your work back and make further changes before you hand it in to your teacher. Another way you might need to hand in work to your teacher is by attaching something to an assignment they send you. I'm going to go back into classroom and for this example we're going to use this short story assignment. So you'll notice the assignment this time says to write a short story, attach your completed work here to hand in. So if I slide up with that gray arrow in the your work section, I'll notice there's nothing here from my teacher this time. In this case, I'm going to use the add attachment button. This gives me the choice uh, to add something from Drive that I've already created. I can share a link to something that's published on the internet. I can upload a file from my device. I can pick a photo. So if I've already taken a picture of my work and it's on the camera roll, I can choose it there. Or I can open use camera to take a photograph. You'll also notice the new docs option which will let me make a new document to start typing. In this case, I already have my short story typed and saved in Drive, so I'm going to choose that first option of Drive. In Drive, I just need to find the file I created. I've named it short story, so it's easy for me to find. It will take a moment. You can see it's adding to assignment. Once it's attached, you will see it. It appears under your work. You can see now that my file's attached called short story. I can now hit the turn in button to send it to my teacher. You will want to give it a moment to submit. You'll notice at the bottom it says assignment turned in and you'll now see that unsubmit button. So your teacher now has access to your file. If you want to make any changes to it, you would have to unsubmit it, make those changes and resubmit again. So those are two ways that you can hand in using Google Classroom on your iPad.